I heard this. What tuna? Yes, we have the tuna that's gone until the 14th of June. Oh, that's the season. Right. But like sports at the minute, like yeah. deep sea and all the rest of it. I didn't know whether you wanted to join the oh, after this, after no, this battle. No, I didn't it. I went to, um, I went down no. for my son's 30th birthday. It has been absolutely incredible. Over a thousand applications we've been through. The most revolutionary thing in the world. Two bloody rights. Without it, we are voiceless subjects. It was an exciting burst of democratic energy, contagious enough to inflict destructive political opportunity. Brexit always did cut across traditional party lines. That we're announcing today. Uh, and before we finish, there's an opportunity for uh, some questions and answers from members of the press. Uh, so who will, uh, who'd like to kick off any questions? Or have we, have we wrapped it all up? Had ever stood for elected office. I witnessed the Arab Spring and I also, on the three tours of Afghanistan, witnessed the oppression in that country. I never once thought, having been in those parts of the world, I'd be standing here talking about the problems of democracy in this country. It's staggering. So I therefore have felt compelled to stand. If you want to change the political system, if you want to restore faith, in democracy, then I believe you should vote for the Brexit Party. I think we need to have confidence in our abilities, in our talents, uh, in our reach, in our economy, in our culture, and all of those things. And if we have confidence in people, uh, we have confidence in, in the voters, in the electorate, then I believe there's nothing that we cannot do. So I'm really proud to be here. I'm really proud to be um, Nigel and with Richard and with my fellow candidates. Um, I think it's going to be an extraordinary period of time. I'm really looking forward to it. As you can probably sense, I'm also slightly nervous about it. Uh, but I believe that the Brexit Party is the party that needs to win and win big. So I'm pleased to be part of that movement. Thank you. The majority of Parliament do not want our country's independence. But ordinary people like me do. If we want our vote to count, if we believe in democracy, and if we want Brexit, we need the public to support and vote for the Brexit Party. Thank you. Germany is heading into reverse gear, and France is now in its 23rd week of riots. You don't see that on the media. The facts have changed. Our economy has more inward investment from overseas than at any time since records began, and unemployment is the lowest since 1971, despite the naysayers predicting we would fall off a cliff. Yes, the facts have changed. This is no longer just about Brexit. This is now about democracy and fair play. The Brexit party did not exist in June 2016, but it does exist now, and it is we who will ensure the successful delivery of Brexit that 17.4 million people voted for. And I'm proud to be part of it. Today, we don't face stable-wielding cavalry charges, but whether you're left or right, we owe it to those 1819 Peter Lee martyrs to protect our hard-won franchise from the new armies it faces. It's time to seize the democratic moment. Vote Brexit Party. Our day will come.